Hello there, Taurus. Welcome. Well, this is going to be a mid-April 2022 love reading. Let's see what's happening with Taurus. Okay, let's see. We have back and forth. They are trying to make sense of this connection, but their energy swing back and forth between two extremes. So they want this connection. They don't want this connection. They want this connection. They don't want this connection. Oh boy. Okay, and across him, the mask. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. Ooh. They're going to be exposed. And then we have here, the current energy around here is the player lifestyle that wants to find everything they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. Ooh, you come the player. Okay. And in the recent past, we have Twin Flame. You don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. And they, so this already came to realization in the recent past. Okay. And crown, you have innocence. Your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves. Ooh. All right. They don't trust themselves. Okay, and what's coming in for you guys is awakening. The awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection. That's it with this twin flame. It seems like that's what all of a sudden someone woke up. They have awoken to you. <laughs> and then we have here, dealt a bad hand. They wish they met you at a different time because they feel they never get to see what the connection could have been. Now see, I this card I always disagree with because... You can change it. This is playing the victim. <laughs> you know? Ooh. And this is the way they, they, they others see you lustful desires. They see you as very lustful. Okay, we have. There is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire dis destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. Okay. And then we have separation. They're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing not to focus on love because there's nothing to give. Okay, that's not going to be for everyone. So just so you know, this is a general. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. A lot of this says someone's awoken to this and now this one is saying the opposite. So for some of you, this will be opposite and some of you, it'll be this energy. So what's um, the potential outcome we have? Stuck in a loop, the pattern has become familiar to them and they are wanting to break free, but the same loop they keep repeating. So yeah, they keep on doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results is not going to happen. Stone, they are emotionally unavailable. It is for your highest good to move on and find your happiness again. Again, there's two different energies coming in. One, leave this alone, walk away, let it go. The other one, it's going to work. Okay, game over. They fear your wrath. They know you no longer entertain their half-hearted effort. Yeah, so whoever is not putting in the energy, it's over. That's what it feels like. And breaking free. They are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. That's the thing about general readings, though, because you're going to get different energies. So let's see. So remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're in a bad situation or you don't want this person or you're attracted to this person, desire them, but you know it's not good, well, that's one thing. Then there's another with that, you know, someone awakening and you always knew that this was going to happen. That's the energy too that I'm feeling. Okay, so let's see. That's why we have the back. We started with the back and forth and the whole reading has been like that. Two different energies here. We're going back and forth. Okay, let's, let's clarify the back and forth. It makes perfect sense to start that way. Let's see. Why do we have the back and forth here? And we have the Three of Swords, heartache. Yeah, because someone really got hurt. It might have been a third party situation or there's a breakup. There's pain here in either case. Definitely was pain in the situation. And so that makes it a little hard. And um, the Three of Swords is a third party, but the third party doesn't have to be someone cheating on the other. It could be influences. It could be addictions. It um, could be circumstances. It could be different different backgrounds different upbringing it could be family getting involved it could be friends getting involved it could be other things that try to break you up and after a while you get tired of fighting and you just say you know what i can't deal with this anymore especially if whoever side is on they're not like helping trying to stop it then it's just not gonna it's not gonna make it one thing if you're working against this together but if you're not and you're like there they have like you on one side and them and they're family or their friends or whatever on the other side and like they're 
sometimes the people just like seeing people fight over them. And you know, then you just got to walk away. Okay, I don't know who that was from, but <laughs> that's what the energy, uh, my guy's been telling me. Okay, so the mask. Why is the mask here? Six of Swords. Look at that. Moving away from rough water. Exactly what I was saying. That's why they were telling me that, because they knew they were going to give me this card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is moving away from something that doesn't long, longer serve you. Now, this person could be leaving something to come towards you. You could be leaving this situation saying, you know what? This is not good for me. I'm not going to be with this anymore. There is tranquility ahead for you, though. Whatever's coming in is going to be different. It's going to be working for you. Okay. Why, why do we have the player here? Ace of Swords, breakthrough and awareness. Yes, this person is realizing things. And they're breaking away from this energy that they used to be. That really wasn't the person they were, I don't think. I think they were just playing that game. The player is the is playing. <laughs> okay, now, the twin flame here. Why do we have the twin flame here? Judgment. Karma, karma review. Things coming back around. That's what this is saying. This twin flame is time to come back in. And that's what they're going to do. Karma review. They're figure, figuring things out there. They are waking up. <laughs> okay, what about this innocence? <clears throat> Don't want to talk. There goes my throat again. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay, look at that. Innocence, we have the world. Cycle completion. This is someone coming back around. Even if they feel they're not good for you, they're, they can't stay away. So then you choose whether or not this person is right for you in your life. And then you cut them off if they're not. And if they are, then you give it a chance. But this is something coming back around. Cycle completion. Ending one cycle. Start anew. What about this awakening? Woo! Yeah, four wands. Foundation and commitment. This person wants to get married. They want to move in. They want something here. They want the commitment. They want to be with you. They want to live with you. Either case. What about this Delta's bad hand? devil obsession yeah see this is blaming everybody else to me this capricorn energy but says oh i dealt a bad hand no poor me it's everybody else's fault and but you know it's not we create our own reality so we definitely have two different um energies going here two different um stories okay what about this lustful desire it's weird how the devil came out under this lustful desires okay they're lustful desires or this is the difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. And this is supposed to be your energy, how people see you. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify this. Ooh, eight of swords. Look at that. Well, that sort of makes sense, feeling like you're trapped in this energy. Lusting. <laughs> okay. Now, of course, that's not going to be for everyone. Now, what about this separation? Three of Cups, collaboration and community. Now, that's, isn't that an opposition here? Separating, wanting to be alone, like taking, getting away from this. And then they're choosing to celebrate and have a good time. This also, unless some of you sell, um, separate because of a third party, when Three of Cups, sometimes that's what that is. But normally I think this is like going out, having a good time. So take it as it resonates. It's kind of confusing right there. But I know it's going to mean something for someone and then something else for someone else. And then something totally different for someone else okay now stuck in the loop why do we have stuck in the loop mm, king of swords quick wit and intellect boy this is our first court card so i'm doing what's the word i only do them on the court card so this is the only one i have to do so far huh that's something so this is um aquarius libra gemini very intelligent very quick-witted really thinks things out and this could be your energy that you're doing now. Me doing a lot of thinking. And you're stuck in the same loop because you keep on coming back to the same decision. <laughs> okay, stone. Why do we have stone here? We have the chariot charging ahead. Okay. Well, this is another contradiction. See that? Okay, so we have stone. They are emotionally unavailable. Is for your highest good to move on and find your own happiness. Unless you're running away. With this chariot, this is um cancer energy. I don't know. See, like I said, there's many different um, energies coming through here. And some of you might be running from this person. <laughs> and this per and for some of you, this person's running towards you. Let's see, game over. Let's see what we get for that one. Kind of confusing. I feel like um, there's a lot of confusing energy around you and you must feel it. Like, okay, one minute feels one way, one minute feels another way. 
what am I going to do? See, Taurus, we have two of wands. See, planning and decisions. You got to make a decision. That's the way it is. It's, there's different things going on. Planning to decide what to do here. And then at the bottom, we have Hierophant, your card. Spiritual advisement. This is also a commitment. This could be marriage. This could be long term commitment. You have the four of wands and you have the higher fence. So, first, and the world completion, things come back around, judgment, twin flames. So, again, this reading is like cut in two. It's either you're going to break away from this person because they're really not good for you and you know which side you belong on, or you feel this connection so deeply that you know that there is something here. And I only have to pull the, the word on one thing. We got one court card here, the King of Swords. So, what's the word on this King of Swords? So you might it's a very strong air sign then here. Let's see. What is the word? Let's see what we have here. We have desire, family, career. Ooh. Okay. So maybe there's a confusion about picking family or career, or there's a desire here. Hmm. I don't know why for someone I have I'm getting their told the family desires you to go to, with your career to not connect with this person maybe that to make sure that you just focus on your career at this time because maybe you're starting a career and this would throw you off course that's coming up for someone i don't know who that is but if because this these are really weird ones that came out but that must mean something okay so let's see what signs we have what signs are we dealing with for taurus what are the signs We have Virgo, Cancer, Sagittarius, Cancer, Aries, and Sagittarius. Wow. Okay, so there could be placements in your chart, placements in your person's chart, placements in past people's charts present people or even future people that you haven't met yet so we have virgo cancer sagittarius cancer aries and sagittarius now for the letters we're going to do 11 letters as good for initial first name last name and you have both first name last last name you also get the middle that's even more um so let's see past present or future people have k z s O T A M P B P N E. These are your letters for today. So we have K Z S O T A M P b p e now for the names we get 11 names for taurus what are the names that are going to come what are the names come on come on somebody else come out okay let's see hopefully we have enough here so we'll start with these up here. Okay, we have Floor, F L O R. We have Robin, Carl, Betty, Dire, I don't know how to pronounce this, D H I R A J, Daniel. Dana, D-A-N-A, Kari, K-A-R-I-E, Al, Dozy, D-O-S-E-Y, Chad, and Pia, P-I-A, oh, I didn't see this one over here. And we have Thimby, T-H-E-M-B-I. So we have, so I guess we got 13 today. Okay, guys, so. Those are the names for today. So but please let me know if this resonates. Remember, it is a general reading. It um, is not a personal reading, so it cannot resonate exactly with everyone. And so just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please leave me comments. Please let me know if it resonates. 
I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.